So normally a right lean increase will appear at the beginning of a project. So I'm going to show you how to do a right lean increase using the knit stitch. And what we normally do is we knit the very first stitch. So we're going to wrap the yarn around our needle and just do a normal knit stitch. And if you're new to knitting, then do check out my beginner tutorials for the knit stitch and purl stitch. Now we're going to do our increase. So we go into the stitch as normal, as if doing a normal knit stitch, wrap the yarn around our needle and bringing it in between our needles. Then we're going to catch the yarn as if we're doing a normal knit stitch, but instead of pulling that stitch off, we're going to leave it on our hook and we're going to work into it again. We're going to bring the needle around to the back and we're going to go into that stitch, into that loop from the back. So we're going round the back and this big loop, instead of coming from the front, going to the back. Then we're going to wrap the yarn around our needle, bring it down between the needles, catch that yarn and then finally bring everything off. And that means we have now got an extra stitch. And then we just carry on knitting as normal across our project to the other end. Okay, so I'm going to show you that one more time. So the very first stitch we're going to knit as normal. So just do a normal knit stitch. Then we're going to increase on this second one and we go into it as if we're doing a knit stitch and bring the yarn round. And then instead of flicking that off, we are just going to move the needle to the back of our left needle and we're going to go through that loop if I turn this around, you'll see we're going to go through that loop that's on our hook with the needle at the back. And then we're going to wrap the yarn around, bring it through, and then grab that yarn, and then finally take it off the needle. And you end up with this little horizontal bar there. And then we carry on as normal. We just knit, carry on knitting as normal. And we've increased, added a stitch at the end to create a nice increase with a right lean here, nice and neat. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to do a left leaning increase with a knit stitch. So we're knitting across our project and these increases usually come at the end of our rows. So we're just going to knit up to the very last two stitches. So when you've got two stitches left here, to do an increase what we're going to do is look for the little loop below our stitch here. So this little loop here, and we're going to grab the right hand side of that loop and just bring that up and pop it onto our needle like so. And then we're just going to knit that as normal. So we we'll just do a normal knit stitch. And then knit the one next to it and then the very last one we're just going to knit as normal. So we're always leaving the very first stitch and the very last stitch, just knit them as normal. And there we go, that creates a left leaning increase at the end. Okay, so just to show you that again, that left leaning increase with the knit stitch is we knit up to the last two stitches. So I'm just coming up to the end of my row. And when we've got two stitches left, we're going to increase on this second to last one. We want to look for the loop, the previous stitch underneath, the little loop here. And we're going to grab the right hand side of it, that little loop there. Just pulling that up gently, we're going to place that onto our needle. And then we're just going to knit it as normal. And then we knit this one as normal, this second to last stitch, and then the very last stitch which we've left, we knit that as well. And that creates a really nice left leaning increase at the end of your project.